Good morning. Monday, Monday. It is Monday, right? Yeah. Yes, it is Monday. Wow, okay. Lots to show. Let me get situated here. Fresh coffee in hand. What is this one? Mix Ocean View, Virginia. Okay, well, may or may not know this. I lived in Virginia Beach and Norfolk for a decade. It was um, one of the best times of my life. When I got to Norfolk, I lived um, on a lake, Lake Whitehurst, and it was um, really good friends and really good times and lots of great memories. Lots of good fishing as well. But um, my heart goes out to you guys, Virginia Beach and Norfolk. I know you guys are going through a very trying time right now. And um, you guys have got thoughts and prayers and hugs and smiles and all of that from me. I love y'all very much. Keep fighting the good fight. On to the fun stuff. This is what we have in store for you guys today. I've got a lot of pieces to show you. I'm going to take a sip of coffee here. Give me just a second. Oh, it's really good. Okay, we've got three pieces, not, uh, six pieces, five pieces, and one of three. The other two are still on the clear coat rack drying. But I showed you this. I gave you a sneak peek of this one last night. So let's start off big. Let's go big, big, big. This is a massive perch pattern. Well, it's not a perch pattern, but it's a perch lure. And um, I always I always spray these at the request of my customers. And my customer on this one has requested my Imperial Crawl with orange belly, orange face. And that is what I've done. This is a River Slicks, the Seaway Perch Series. Mamma Jam has got three coats, three coats, folks, of KBS. It's big. Yes, these are musky walleye, mostly musky baits. For my good friends in the northern part of our country. Let's give you guys a good, good look at that. I've done one that's similar before, but I'm pretty sure it did not have the uh, under segments on the sides. I, I just I love doing crawl patterns. It's some of my favorite to do. And I think these river slicks, um, they use marbles as eyes that are glued in. So we just went with that. Grady, my friend Grady who I believe is a, a fellow Marylander, had requested, uh, let me pop that on the screen now, this juvenile trout pattern. So we've gone a very light white mint. There's a little yellow in this, in this mix on the belly. And then fading up into this juvenile trout pattern. And we have repeated that pattern for him. Bring this under the light on five baits. Show you just a couple of them. This is on that Dinger Duo pressing. Very cool pattern. Love doing stuff that are requested that I don't necessarily do on a day-to-day -day basis because it makes me think. I like the challenge of putting a new pattern together that probably has not been done before or at least has not been done by me before. So that's always fun. Thank you for that, Grady. I hope you enjoy these. So there are five total in that. These are going to Mike Farmer, AKA Joe Farmer. This is the sockeye salmon. You 
you guys have seen this before, but not for a while. You guys haven't seen it for a while. The Mummy. I always get excited when you guys do out-of-the-box stuff. I love doing my fun patterns. This was originally, I think I said this before on, on the Facebook feed, but this was brought out last year for Halloween. There was a bunch of cool Halloween patterns going around between a few of us. I, I still think that... Uh, I still think that Gerald's was cool. He did Chucky. Like he did a full-on Chucky Mouse, which was awesome. I saw quite a few that were cool, but this is the mummy. The gauze, bloody gauze pattern. It's this, this stuff is available on the website on its specialty line. This is a custom order that I hadn't sprayed before. And then this is online as well. This is that wildfire shad pattern was requested as part of this three piece down here. But I like doing things a little bit differently. You guys know that about me by now. Um, I don't conform, I conform to the colors because I think that proven colors um, that catch fish over and over and over. But then again, if you're doing it right, you can pretty much put any color pattern together, um, make it look good and get the fish excited about it. This is another order. This is for David, David D. This is the summer crappie pattern. A little bit darker, but we've kind of done away with the white that you would normally see on a black crappie. And we've turned that a little bit deeper of a green. Lake Charles pattern. That white fading up into about three shades of red and then instead of black we did that black magenta which is i just am in love with that color it's a great detail color that's the wicked line i want to say it's zero zero five one but i'm probably wrong on that it's a little early so this is lake charles the bama crawl There are hints of bone underneath, a little bit of Maui blue, and some orange, that mottled orange that you would commonly see. It's a very cool color pattern for a craw, and, and a very common to see this type of marking. Red-Eared Sunny, I haven't painted one of these in a while. It was fun to get back into this. I see them right about this shade at uh, Lake Norfolk all the time. I haven't been to Norfolk in a while though. Everything's so flooded and blown out in Arkansas. I'm almost scared to get on the Spring River. I think I might do some pond hopping today though. I am gonna take it, this, is the, this will be the first, well it's been raining too. This will be the first day in about three weeks that I've taken off for a couple of hours. I'm going to go see if I can get after some catfish. I'm really feeling like catfish tonight for supper. So we're going to try for that. The camouflage. I love doing these too. Reminds me of my woodland uniform when I was in the army. Camouflage. And last but certainly not least, that Imperial Crawl. I love the, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this has got a great rattle sound. A little bit deeper than you would normally expect coming out of a jerk bait, but it is just, it's fantastic. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite jerk baits. Is this dinger pressing of that 120. It swims really good. And that's important. That's what I've got for you guys this morning. I hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.